Now this, a Channel 2 Action News exclusive of Gwinnett County teenagers recovering tonight after says he says he was attacked at Six Flags over Georgia, the theme park. He was there for a birthday party. Channel 2's Michael Sidens live outside Cobb County Police Headquarters where investigators are reviewing video now from the Six Flags attack. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Justin, some of that video, it came from a smartphone just like this one. Witnesses pulling out their cameras and capturing this entire attack. Now, this afternoon, I sat down for an exclusive interview with that teenage victim, also his mother and his attorney, who says point blank that this entire incident could have been avoided if Six Flags had better security. I don't know why they following me. I ain't do nothing wrong. I'm just That's a sub. <laughs> That's a son right there, man. Security. I don't know why they following me. I ain't do nothing wrong. I'm just minding my business. This 14-year-old boy who's asked us not to identify him because his alleged attackers are still on the run says he's still recovering tonight after he survived a vicious assault last weekend at Six Flags Over Georgia. In an exclusive interview, the Gwinnett County teen told me how his mother had just dropped him off for his cousin's birthday celebration. But his Is that crap? No, this is black on black crime. They got the fake crump. <laughs> fake crump for black on black crime. Real crump only goes for, for when it's a white person, man. His mother had just dropped him off for his cousin's birthday celebration. But as soon as he walked into the park, a group of strangers began following him, harassing him about his Balenciaga shoes, valued at more than $1,400. Oh. What? Fourteen hundred dollar shoes, gliders, man. Stop giving these sons free stuff, man. They got enough, man. No more free stuff, gliders. Okay, press one. They walking around with fourteen hundred dollar shoes, man. Damn, I thought Georgians were expensive. He fourteen too. Fourteen with fourteen hundred dollar shoes, man. And I don't listen. That doesn't look good to me. That looks like garbage. Yeah, that's that fucking. Shoe, Stupid. Yeah. That shoe looks like hot garbage. That look like some shit you would get from Payless. Them look like Shaq shoes, man. <laughs> Shaq. Yeah, man. That's hot garbage. $1,400. Oh, yeah. Them sons was jealous. Sons are very jealous, man. Sons are very, very jealous. Very, very just. They see you with some, some stuff, some nice stuff. They're gonna want to hurt you, and that's what they're into. So when they seen the shoes, yeah. you know they recognized it. Yeah, exactly. They want to destroy it. They even want to destroy it, hurt you, or take it. A group of strangers began following him, harassing him about his Balenciaga shoes, valued at more than fourteen hundred dollars. Ask me, like, do I? rep any gang or anything i was like no i don't want to rep no i don't rep no gang i'm just trying to get to my people for a birthday party but as they continue to follow him he says he knew he was in serious trouble so he attempted to defend himself but he was clearly outnumbered he says as soon as he hit the ground they began kicking and punching him in the head until he lost consciousness he's at the hospital about 10 hours they had to do cat scans on his head it's a lot of psychological damage to my client because fake crump yeah, that ain't crump, man. <laughs> Muhammad Luwemba. Luwemba, man. Because this entire attack was recorded, uploaded to Instagram. The teen's attorney says he's now preparing to take legal action against Six Flags. We do believe that there's... Hold on. Six Flags, remember, I did the video a couple months ago. They start. They they have a new a thing for the summer where you have to have a chaperone. Um, kids under what sixteen or something can't be in the park by themselves. Da 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 da. Six Flags done a lot to try to um curtail sun violence. They've done a lot, man. I think they. I think I don't think you should be able to sue Six Flags for this. They've done everything they could to try to put a lid on sun violence entire attack was recorded uploaded to instagram the teen's attorney says he's now preparing to take legal action against six flags 
We do believe that there are several surveillance videos that caught this entire incident on camera. Also, what's most importantly is what it didn't catch. It didn't catch security intervening at all. With well, security was probably attending to another sun incident. Those are the only sun people in the goddamn place, man. What's wrong with this guy, man? The fuck? It's some people all over that place. Security's um security's um stretched thin, man. You don't know that. All right, so I want to be clear. I called corporate office. Uh, it's in Illinois. I called Six Flags. They told me that they couldn't address issues here in Georgia. They actually referred me back to the office here in Georgia, but they told me the only way to get a hold of a spokesperson was through an email. I've been emailing them since this morning, but so far, no response. We are live in Cobb County, Michael's side, in Channel 2. What do you think about that? Six Flags has is, six flags is, is done a lot to try to curtail sun, sun, sun behavior, right? Yeah, man, I mean... I don't understand how Six Flags could be held responsible because yeah. it's not their it's not their job to protect you. You know, it's like lost item shit. Like if you lose your items, that's your fault. Yeah, Six Flags is trying. It's just done a lot to 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 keep. The, what do you want them to do? Just say no sons allowed? Like I mean, that's the that's the next step. I mean, other than that. It's just the money grab because Six Flags has money and those teens that beat him up don't. Yeah, those teens that beat his ass. They didn't get the shoes, though. 